What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a recipe video, but it's a different kind of recipe video. This is kind of a copycat recipe video. What I'm going to show you today is how to make a Starbucks double shot on ice at home. <laughs> If you're new to me or the channel, I make delicious, simple recipes, highlight local food and interesting cultural trends, and give you motivation through my experiences. Now you might be wondering, what is the Starbucks double shot on ice? Now that's actually a pretty fun story. Starbucks used to have this drink on their menu, and now it's kind of more of on the secret menu. If you order it at Starbucks, most baristas will know how to make it because it's actually a fairly simple beverage. And Starbucks keeps streamlining its menu so that you can pretty much order whatever you want as long as you know what to order. But in this case here, it's not a latte or a cappuccino or whatever vanilla frappa thing that they're making. When you go to Starbucks and you order this, Starbucks double shot on ice. Basically what it is, it's a shaken beverage. So I'm gonna actually do it today with my cocktail shaker. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, you can just go between two glasses because we're not gonna vigorously shake this. It's just gonna be a light shake to kind of get things going in there. For a, a tall, it's two shots of espresso, two pumps of syrup. If you want flavor, you could do vanilla syrup, you could do hazelnut syrup, shake in over ice, and then pour it into your cup, and then they top with milk. Their default is 2% milk. They'll put whatever milk you want. So if you want skim, they'll do skim. If you want cream, they'll do cream. So you can kind of customize it in that way. You can order like a tall vanilla double shot with cream. That's a perfectly acceptable thing to order. Stick around to the end, and I'm gonna tell you about a hack that you could use to get some extra coffee in this if you order this in Starbucks. So this is one of those Starbucks secret menu espresso beverages that you can make better than Starbucks at home. Basically, you don't need much. You need some espresso. You need simple syrup, which I just made this one cup of sugar, one cup of water, bring it to a boil, turn it off, and put it in a jar. Simple syrup. You need your milk of choice. I use unsweetened almond, but you can use whatever. I also buy the vanilla variety just to give myself a little more taste. Now this could be done with any type of espresso maker, either stovetop or a machine. I personally have a machine. I also have a stovetop, but I, I'm gonna use the machine today. But you could even do this if you want with like double brewed automatic drip coffee. Just make sure that you make it extra strong. It won't be exactly the same because that you don't really get the oils that you would get from espresso beverage that had, that's been pulled through pressure, but it'll get you in the neighborhood. So here is how you make Starbucks double shot on ice at home. As you can see here, I have my coffee all dosed out already. I just need to tamp it down. My machine is all primed and ready to go. Once your espresso is brewed, it's actually pretty simple to assemble. So you take your shaker cup and you pour your coffee in the shaker cup. Easy so far, right? Simple syrup. I'm going to use a jigger to measure it. And with two ounces of simple syrup and then ice cubes. So you want this to get sufficiently chilled and you want to have a little leftover ice to be able to drink it because you're drink, going to drink this with a straw. Ice. Ice. I would say about a cup to a cup and a half of ice cubes, lid on. I have two lids on mine and then shake. Now this isn't going to be a vigorous shake. It's just going to be kind of like tossing it back and forth. That's why I said you could use like two pint glasses and kind of go back and forth in there because you don't want to go too hard. If you go too hard, the oils from the espresso are actually going to make this all foamy and then it won't be as good. So. And not a very long shake. 
Are you ready to serve? Get a Starbucks cup or whatever you have in the house. I like my Starbucks cup. Now you could strain the ice and put it over fresh ice, but I like to just reuse the same ice, why not? So you just pour. You can see there's that nice foam on top. We're gonna make even better. Now to finish it, you take your milk of choice, which with almond milk, you always gotta shake it. Shake it at your face. Then you just add it. Now you wanna add it not so vigorously so that it doesn't sink to the bottom right away. I filled that up to about the tall line. And you could see we have we have three separate layers basically. Here's our espresso layer, we have our milk layer, and then our, our crema layer. All right, gonna go on with our lid. You always need your lid when you got a straw. I don't know what I'm talking about. Give it a good mix. You see it basically turns into like an iced coffee. This is really nothing more than espresso over ice. You could just pour espresso on ice if you want, but I think shaking it up gives it a little more body and makes it a little bit of a nicer drink, drink to, to actually drink. So. That's amazing. Honestly, it tastes, because I usually make mine with liquid stevia, so this is the first time I've had it in a while with real sugar, but this tastes a whole lot like the can that you get at the gas station at the Starbucks Double Shot, which is made with, with cream. You can see, some, using something low calorie like almond milk doesn't sacrifice the taste of this either. So it's just one of those very good beverages, perfect thing to order. I'm gonna go hand deliver this to Cassie. There's a funny story there. I, I did this whole recipe before. I recorded all this video, everything you just saw, and I just wanted one for myself. And you know what happened? I lost all the footage. Um, the footage was there, there was just no audio. I've been messing around with some audio settings. I got a new mic coming soon. So I don't know what happened. I was just so mad. I, I was gonna just wait for another day to tape this. And then Cassie just said that she would have one if I made it. So jumped right back on and recorded this video. Now, I promised you a hack if you go to Starbucks and order this. If you order a tall, it's two shots. If you order a grande, it's three shots. If you order a venti, it's five shots. Now, I used to order this all the time. And when I used to order it, they used to ask me if I wanted the sixth shot because they basically have to pull it but they, they can't reuse that for another drink unless they're really doing high throughput at that Starbucks. If you get a nice barista, they'll usually ask you if you'd like them to throw in the sixth shot. So you can get an extra shot if you do a venti. The only thing is venti is a lot of caffeine. That's basically how I used to get myself through the day when I was really eating poorly and stuff like that. So I would say it's really not for the faint of heart, but you know, if you want six shots of espresso, order the Starbucks double shot venti, and you might get six shots. Thanks for watching. Since you made it to the end, be sure to give this video a like. Comment down below, what's your favorite thing to order at Starbucks? I'd really love to hear it. I love going to Starbucks and ordering new things that I've never heard of before. So I wanna hear what you guys have had. Secret menu stuff, your preference, whatever it is. And make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos are posted. That is the best thing you can do to help support the channel here right now. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.